Hey there. Thank you for watching this clip on deciding which quadrant the theta is in. We're given a little clue that says tangent theta you could have and the sine of a theta is less than zero. So the question is why is theta in quadrant three? This is a really good question, especially if at the beginning of trig. This is important to understand. It all started with a unit circle. So what I draw on here is unit circle. Unit circle is really a fancy name to say, look, the circle has unit of one. Now this comes handy in our doing trick. Let's take a look at what happens in quadrant one. Okay, for this angle has a terminating arm and it intersects this unit circle at a point that's called x and y. Okay, so here's my x distance, and going here is my y distance. Okay, now by definition, sine theta is whatever is opposite in our case is y over hypotenuse in our case is one. So conveniently, in this unit circle, y becomes sine theta, value for it, okay? And then x becomes cosine theta. And by definition, that tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. So in our case, it becomes y over x. Okay, so when the coordinates for y and x are same sign, then tangent theta, the value becomes a positive. Using that definition, then tangent theta is positive in quadrant one, and tangent theta is positive in quadrant three. Okay, so without further clues, we can't tell where the theta is, really, literally. So if I have another arm that's ended here, and angle goes all the way here, as far as tangent theta, the value is, you can't tell if it's in quadrant one or quadrant three because they're both positive. Now, added it with another clue that sine theta is less than zero. Now, remember earlier we said sine theta is really value for y in our, in our unit circle. So if sine theta is less than zero, that's saying it has to be in the bottom half of the xy plan here. Okay, so on this side, side, y is less than zero. So in quadrant three, we have sine theta is less than zero. Okay, in quadrant three, and we have sine theta less than zero in quadrant four. Okay, combination of those two clues, that's how we determine theta is in quadrant three, given the two clues tangent theta equal to half, and sine theta is less than zero. So that's how we handle how to find a theta in which quadrant. We need two clues. Hope it's clear. Please comment on YouTube and let me know if it helped you. Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel, inviting you to click the subscription bu button above this video so you can receive more math answers. Together, we can make math fun and easy. Until next time, have a confident day.